ladies, we're gonna do a vlog a little different this evening. We're gonna call it A Night in the Life of a Working Mom. So you can see I just ran into Harris Teeter and grabbed stuff to make a pot of spaghetti for dinner. So I grabbed a pound of ground beef. I grabbed some petite diced tomatoes. Those are on sale, 10 for 10. Today's Wednesday, so I think their sales change on Wednesday, so I think they just put out all the new stuff. So 10 for 10, um, the bur bur Barilla pasta was $1.58. Classico spaghetti sauce was two for four. And I picked up the Italian sausage, picked up some Earl Grey tea, because um, I like that in the evenings to unwind. That was not on sale, that was $3.99. Picked up bagels for breakfast. These were buy one, get one free. Um, they are $3.99 each. Picked up uh, cream cheese to go with those. That was $3.49. Picked up mushrooms just to kind of um, add a little something to our spaghetti sauce. <coughs> and pretzel chips. These were two for six. So we're gonna go ahead and get a pot of spaghetti going. I'm gonna work on some laundry tonight. I have homework for my advanced security class. Oh, and I did pick up milk for breakfast. So let's get this going. I'm gonna get the water on for the noodles. So I'm gonna go ahead and ground up, brown up my ground beef. Um, and yes, check so we're back with use, you. Um, have some Texas toast, and this is just the regular garlic one um, without any cheese. The New York style Texas toast from the frozen food section. I've got the oven preheating for that. And I went ahead and chopped up our mushrooms, put in our uh, hamburger. So I'm just gonna cook that down. And I actually got my noodles going because the water was boiling. So get those done and get them out and get this sauce okay, going. Okay, so Texas, Texas toast is going in the oven. And I just drained the pasta and put the sauce on it. So we're gonna mix that in and get some spaghetti okay, plated so up. Okay, so there we have it. Just a quick and easy plate of spaghetti and some Texas toast going to be scrumptious and then I'm going to work on laundry and get some homework done for my advanced security class. So quick and easy pasta and Texas toast. Okay so dinner's done, dishwasher's going, I have a load of clothes in the washer and so I'm sitting down with my textbook and we are finishing um, up domain three uh, security engineering and so I need to review the last half of the chapter and what we do is we do one review question at the end and post our answer and then we um, create um, we create two review questions we, uh, that we share with our classmates on the discussion board um, for them to answer throughout the week and you answer theirs. So last week we worked on domain three and I think I picked this first question, um, a, holistic life, a holistic life cycle for developing security architecture that begins with assessing business requirements, um, subsequently creating a chain of traceability through phases of strategy, concept design, implementation, and metrics is characteristic of which the following frameworks, and that answer was B. SABSA. So I probably would just go on to question number two as my one review question that I need to answer. Um, or three. Three looks like a short one. We of course have to explain our answer. Um, so I'm going to do one review question um, and post it to the discussion board and then go back through the last half of um, the chapter and create uh, two questions of my own. Uh, to post for the other students. So that's what I'm doing tonight. My discussion board post for Domain 3, Security Engineering. This is um, in preparation for, this class prepares you for the CISSP, but it's also in um, a credit that I need for my master's so degree. So putting a load of laundry in the dryer, of course using my dryer sheets from the dollar store. Um, so that'll go on, and I'm going to start another load okay, in the Okay, homework is posted. My discussion board posts um, have been uploaded, and I'm on the second load of laundry, getting ready to start the third. It's about 9.30 at night, so things are kind of winding down here. 